men or women, that have had sex with a man with an abnormally large or abnormally small penis. What was the experience like? Dude had a literal cone-shaped penis. Too big at the base and too small at the tip. The experience looking back was the worst. I was young and naive. Like trying to have sex with an upside down ice cream cone. I have never had this conversation before. I've had sex with a guy with that shape too. I don't remember the sex so much as the shape. This is over 10 years ago mind you. He was on the larger side. 7 ish I would say. But the shape isn't something I've seen again. Even in porn. I don't even understand how that's a thing lol. For all the little peepees out there. Just remember. A tic tac still hurts at 50 miles per hour. Abnormally large fellow dislodged my IUD, was temporarily crippled by the pain, and had to go to the DRs to make sure it hadn't perforated my uterus. Wasn't exactly what I'd describe as fun. I have an IUD and this is terrifying. I'm not even that long, and I've hit my wife's a couple times. Gotta be careful. Me and my wife stopped having sex for a few months after I cut the hell out of my head on hers. Edits. I'm not super big. But she's quite shallow. And we stopped to wait the safe time between getting it removed and the shot kicking in. I've never been one to care about size. My ex was on the way smaller side. But that wasn't his downfall. He refused to listen to what I wanted and thought he was a sex god. Any suggestions about what I wanted were met with anger and arrogance. My fiance now is one of the biggest I've ever been with. We have to be super careful in certain positions or he'll hurt me. Luckily for me, he listens to what I like and takes it easy on me. I lost my virginity to someone with an eye nice and sure. He was the epitome of having a big dick doesn't make you good in bed. Didn't try to turn me on. Didn't do anything but jack until he finished. Couldn't even find my clit the one time he ever tried. All I really remember about that sex is the overwhelming displeasurable pain of having him punch my cervix with his cock. I had a boyfriend like that. I used to joke that I felt like my uterus was a speedball after he was done. Useless bugger had the nerve to complain about an ex that only liked one position. This one had about three and didn't dine at the Y. I regret reading this thread. Dick is slightly too big. It hurt like hell. Dick is slightly too small. I literally couldn't feel anything. Never thought it'd be so happy to be average. He used his size as a reason to not really try in bed. He never gave me opportunity to warm up. And even though I thoroughly enjoy super super rough just thought ramming it into me over and over was the way to go. Lack of warm up and him just thrusting hard like no tomorrow left me sore and angry. Not the good kind of sore, either. My cervix hated me when I was with him. He used his size as a reason to not really try in bed. I found that the larger a guy's, the less work he thinks he has to put in. But I've also had the reverse happen where a guy with a small dick was trying why I too hard to make up for what he was lacking his words. The dude would not stop touching my clit or tits. And usually that's not a bad thing. But damn dude. Too much. Seems like the same problem just expressed in different ways. Neither wants to actually listen to their partner and instead wants to be perceived as some sort of sexual expert who intuitively knows what their partner wants more than the actual partner. A lot of guys feel like they need to be good at sex. As a guy, I think this is because a lot of us are afraid that if we are not good at sex we can't get more of it because she'll be uninterested to have it with us. Honestly so much can be avoided by talking like normal people. Honestly so much can be avoided by talking like normal people. If Reddit has taught us anything it is that normal people don't talk. During sex it felt great I guess because of the adrenaline but afterwards I was doubled over in pain. It felt like my cervix had been drop kicked by Chuck Norris. I've been there. The pain the next day. Ugh. Chuck Norris drop kicked me too. Drop dicked. We had to stop after 10 minutes. Small as in you couldn't come. Or big as in alf peep al. He was breaking my cervix. 
Death by UNZ UNZ. Techno music. Had sex with a big dick guy. It was simultaneously the most boring and painful sex of my life. He wasn't a big dude. So the blood it took to power this thing left him dizzy. He pretty much just laid there while I tried to figure out how to fit this terrifying doom cannon into my body. I gave up after about 10 minutes. Then he cried. Also had sex with a small dick guy. I could only feel it in certain positions. And he was very sensitive about his performance. So he didn't take suggestions well. We didn't last long. He wasn't a big dude. So the blood it took to power this thing left him dizzy. This seriously made me lol. Above average can be absolutely incredible. Especially in certain positions. That is until your cervix gets hit. I have my donut. It's a rubber ring not a cock ring the size of a donut that goes around my cock at the base and acts as a bumper so I can go to town without the cervix bashing. That is actually genius. You are a considerate big dick man. I thought you said you are considerate big dick man, like it was his Mathurf peep in superhero name. Edit. Revli CHT Rosknati. Oh, Mr. Big Dick Man, can you get my cat down from this tree safely? Not to worry, ma'am. I know how to handle a pussy. Stop this. Big Dick Man, those kids are stuck in a giant pile of mania. I'll disturb their speep right away. Big Dick Man, I have a stomach ache. Sorry, that's me. Big Dick Man, can you recommend a good place to get something to eat? Sure. Right here. Big Dick Man, I need to feed a group of vegans. I'll toss their salad. Had a couple hookups with a guy whose dick was about the same size as my index finger. We only did blowjobs. But holy speep. It was like someone trying to make me throw up by sticking their finger down my throat. Edit. Thank you kind strangers. I will cherish the gold and the silver. Well at least his spontaneous bonus didn't matter during his teenage years. It would just look like he was always carrying a baby carrot in his pocket for snacks. Sadly, it wasn't a snack used very many times. I have had both. The large one never learned that a majority of the population do not like getting harpooned like a dolphin within a few seconds. Like go slow and use lube if you have to. Lube isn't just for anal. I can take a decent amount, but when they hit my cervix oh I have to tap out for a bit. I'm a big woman, so the small one I felt only grinding against my clit. Didn't feel the penetration, but he was persistent and lasted out longer than the bigger guys. Also he gave me more attention and pulled out toys and all kinds of fun stuff, whereas the bigger guys were all about instant gratification and skip foreplay. In the end, size doesn't matter to me. I was with a guy who wasn't vert well endowed. We were fooling around and he asked for a hand job. I went to put my hand around and found that my hand was larger than his fully erect penis. Similar to many others couldn't feel it when he put it in either. Oh geez. Reminds me of the first time I fooled around with a now ex. We were getting hot and heavy on the couch. Lights off. And I'm feeling around for his dick but can't find it. My hand searching around like a cartoon character searching for their dropped glasses. And the one or two times he topped me. I really didn't feel much. It wasn't bad. I just didn't. Feel anything. Lol. Velma? Is that you? It's me Shaggy. Over here. Jinkies. Is it in yet? <sighs> Had to tell him to stop about halfway in. Not fun when terrified of injury. We were in our 20s. He was a smoking hot virgin. He met a woman who could enjoy all he had to offer 26 centimeters not long after our attempt and FB says they are still together over a decade later. I don't even know if what we did qualifies as sex. He looked at me with a terrified are you okay look on his face and was met with my freaked out expression. Fun to look at. Scary to experience. 10th peeping inches holy speep. They called him tripod in high school was with a smaller dude. Like others here have said. Felt nothing. Pretty sure most of the action was him grinding against my inner thigh. We were young. 
and didn't really know what else to do outside of just basic sex. Nowadays I would ask for more attention, because regardless of size, you can still have good times if there's other foreplay and fulfillment involved. And I would assume most men go crazy at the thought of a woman giving them more info about what they want, so the good times can roll for both parties. He was a good dude and an attentive boyfriend. We broke up due to being long distance I don't regret it, and I'd never make fun of a guy for the size of their sklang. It's not the dick that makes the man. It's the willingness to be an open and loving partner. Edit. A few people have asked, it was really small. Bordering on micro. So trust me, when I say I mean what I said above. In all other aspects the guy was funny, caring, and great to be around. We stayed together for a good while, and did only break up, because there were more than a few states between us. And when you're that young you don't really have the money to travel very often. This was a very, very long time ago as well. I'm talking like 14 to 15 years. I'm very old. In Reddit ages, I guess. Middle aged is the new 80, right? And to the rest, who say I'm probably lying, and it would be boring, to not have full on PV6, that's your opinion and experience. Mine is different. You're welcome to your beliefs, but don't try to insert them directly into my head. The only one in my head, as far as I know. And the only one who has had my particular life experiences is me, as well. Which is how I came to be who I'm at this point. People always act like there's some kind of shame in using toys and stuff during regular sex. There's not. Sex stores wouldn't stay open if it wasn't fun to use them. Just saying. It's not the dick that makes the man. It's the willingness to be an open and loving partner. I want that on my tombstone. This sounds like a strange invitation, 